No. Fancy seeing you here. Farthing Field, as you can see. Farthing Orchard. I was going to go right over there to uh, a new field that I've never ever been to. But the weather's going to be closing in and that is the furthest from uh, the ranch. So I think I'm going to stick to where I am. Dodging showers. Um, last time we were out we had that really nice cut Henry. Henry III. Lovely coin. And the time before that we had the Queen Elizabeth the first penny. Silver penny. So, are we on for a hat trick? I spoke to uh, Marcus from Knox to 11 before I left this morning and uh, he promised me a hat trick. So we're on a promise. We are on a promise. Uh, we're going to get going. I say we're, we're dodging showers. I can't really smell much history. I've got that taste. I know it's there. I know it's, you know it's there. Together, we're going to go and find it. Come on, let's go and have a look. Okay, we're 10 minutes or so in. We're now underneath a big black cloud of doom. We've got a little uh, old thing. It's crudely made, so that suggests it's quite old. I don't know what it is, but that's nothing unusual. So there we go, a little, uh, little artifact of years gone by, just don't actually know. It might be complete, is that broken or is that complete? No, it's broken isn't it? Wonder what that was. Ah, oh, very good. First coin of the day, I'm bringing out a big 57 on the uh, simplex. I don't know who it is, I haven't had a look yet. 1891, so that's Queen Vic. Queen Vic Hapenny. There she is. Afternoon, ma'am. Oh, no, still morning, ma'am. There we go, first kind of the day, Queen Vic Hapenny. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, incidentally, I just wanted to say, for some reason or another, there seems to be a lot of people I know and I know of that seems to be hurting at the moment for different reasons be it bereavement or hospitalisation or things like that just I know that our thoughts and, and our love and everything is, is with you people anyone that's hurting you shouldn't be hurting if anything you know if anyone you know that can help you in any way let them know I'm sure they'll be glad to I'll certainly be glad to if I can help anyone you let me know and I'll see what I can do and I'm going to go and pick that coin up and see you on the very next hole Choing! We got one of those. Large bore, maximum bore musket. Between 1600 and about 1850. Woohoo! That will hurt. I mean, really, that will hurt. Cool! Well, I've just spent five minutes chasing this up and down, and it was on the top all screwed up in a ball. I don't know what it is or what it was. It's quite ornate, isn't it? It's very, very thin. Pattern on that. Not much on that side. And that bit was connected. Well, we'll give it a clean up at the ranch if it survives. It's interesting. Don't know what it is. Clouds of doom. Clouds of doom. Oh, uh, I'm going to get wet. The first hole after my little sit down lunchy break is that. I think that's one of those bits of lead where if you wanted to, you could see absolutely anything in it. Is it patterned? Is it not patterned? Is that natural? Thank you, Simplex. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. We shall persevere. We shall carry on. Hasn't rained yet. Whee! Well, I kind of felt the back of it first and thought, hang on, that's a bit irregular. Don't actually know. It mounted onto something once upon a time, look. I don't know. 
clean it up back at the ranch. Might be tet, might be good. If it's good, we'll have a look at it. If it's tet, we won't. Simples. We have an edge. Did it? Edge, edge. Is it uh, a button? Is it a coin? Can we see? Let's, uh, let's investigate together. It's a button. It's an old flat. What once was a tunic button, I would have said, but completely flattened. Well, it was worth a look. Button. I did get slightly excited, but it's a navy button. There's the failed anchor, which means it's datable. Uh, has that got a rope edge? Don't think it's got a rope edge, so it's not an officer's button. I thought it was a little hammered, but it's not. Never mind, we'll keep going. Now, I thought it was a coin sticking up, but it's a very odd shaped thing. Do we see? Very thin. What on earth is that? Bit of enamel from an old badge, I think, at one point. Thought it might be exciting. Unfortunately, I don't think it is just about to go into the twisty wire lump of nothingness farm rubbish when I notice that well, you don't get decorated farm rubbish do you was that a figure of eight at some point did that bit connect onto that bit and that bit to there I don't know. What weighty? Be nice if that was silver or something, but I don't know. Look, there's traces. Is that traces of a pin from from there to there? I think it is. There ah, goes that. Right, that then. Bit of a uh, Victorian costume by the looks of it. Oh, well, that's made me happy. I was just about to throw it into me bunch of rubbish pocket not a bunch of rubbish cool what do we reckon not a button that I can see not any detail that I can see uh, could be a minimum, I suppose. You expect to find some kind of detail on it. Another thing to investigate back at Detector Ranch HQ. We shall have a look. We have turned over the clod and we have got a ring of green. It's another button. Oh no. Ah, looks like there might be something on it though. Could be an old button. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Uh, no. I think it probably was an old coin. On one edge, it does seem like it's been milled and all that business, but uh, no. Let's not get our hopes up. It's a no. Now, out of this same hole, just there, we have something in that clod and something in that clod. So let's try and do these live for you and see what we get. Now, with only one hand, it's a bit difficult. But we'll give it a go. Alright, we're in here. We're out. Oh, 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 look! 
it <laughs> it oh it's a button it's a button okay let's go on to the other one over this side and see what we got in this one oh, this is all kerfuffle isn't it right where are we not in there not in there now I should be getting my here we go Oh, 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 we got, got a bit of a buckle. Well, there you go, both out the same hole. Oh it's, oh, it's got a bit of decoration on it. Well, that's all right, isn't it? Oh, happy days. Well, there you go, one hole, one button, one buckle. Excellent fun. As you can see, by the mess, I had to search for it. Look what have we got. Slowly broach pin thing. A couple of stones still in place. Not old. Victorian. 100, 150 years old. That's alright, isn't it? That'll clean up nice. Ruby and the diamonds. <laughs> the simplex is off. It's the very last hole of the day and there's a storm we've got thunder and we've got lightning and the rain's touching down over there and over there but so far it's avoided me the last hole of the day we get another one of those and that one's got some detail on it don't know what it is but we'll have a look back at the ranch that's it for today nothing outstanding some lovely bits of jewelry which we'll take a look at once we clean them back up there's the thunder I think that's my cue to go. The detector got to say, off you go, searcher. Go home, treat yourself to a big slap up Chinese. There they go, that's exactly what they're saying. You can hear it in the trees. Chinese, Chinese, searcher, have a Chinese. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you back at the ranch. Watch again, back at the ranch. And as you can see, we haven't got a great deal to show for our time out. That didn't clean up to anything spectacular. I think it was probably a knotted brooch of some kind at some point. You get a pin there and a pin there. Not a precious metal, just a bit of costume. Same as that. Two stones left on it. A little bit of detail. You can see the slide there. Probably Victorian, I would have said, judging by the colour of the, the metal. Not a precious metal. Now that would have been nice if that was complete. Some nice detail on that. But again, overall, not a great deal to show. There's that little plate thing. Don't know what that was from. It's got a lovely pattern on it, but can't really, uh, can't really identify it. I'm afraid I haven't got much to talk about. So what we will have a little chat about is our little Powered anchor, navy bun. Let's have a quick chat about that. Ta da! Da 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 da! That's our little failed anchor, navy button. And that's from around the year, well, 1795 to 1812, that was. After 1812, they put a little, uh, little uh, crown at the top of the anchor to differentiate from the merchant navy because they'd adopted similar buttons and they didn't want um, the merchant navy uh, portraying themselves as the royal navy because there was you know, a, bit of, a bit of snobbery so that's pre-1812 so that covers the golden age of sail as it were which is the uh, the battle of the nile or the battle of copenhagen trafalgar all the great battles um trafalgar Famously was uh, where we lost Nelson. Now Nelson, on the way <laughs> after Nelson was killed, on the way home they put him in a, a big cask of rum. Uh, the rum being 
70 to 80 percent proof at the time hence the fact it was they used to water it down and call it grog hence the term groggy uh, nelson only a titty tiny fella uh, got seasick absolutely crippled by seasickness and was uh, couldn't swim couldn't swim either which, which was quite common in the navy other things that were common in the navy were the forms of punishment uh, they had kissing the bosun's daughter which was where they used to bend you over a, a cannon and tie uh, your wrists to your ankles and give you a good whipping which was nice there was running the gauntlet which was normally for if you got caught stealing they would um, line up all your shipmates and give them all a, a starter which was a, a a, a bit of rope, stiffened rope, uh, and they all give you a smack as you run up and down the line. That's a, yeah, that was that was quite pleasant. Uh, the press gang was quite prolific in those times. The press gang, if they got hold of you, uh, bang you on the back of the head, you'll wake up in the ship's hold somewhere, uh, anchored off of places like Sheerness or Portsmouth, and you you, you didn't have a choice. You you were you were off. Uh, to serve in the navy, it's probably as a, a landsman or a, a waster. Uh, if you're a waster, that just means you're uh, you're not a professional sailor. You're not one of the ones that goes up and does all the sails. And all. all you do is lug stuff about. You just pull ropes and push that and clean the decks. That's all you do. That's being a waster. Uh, one other thing was if the press gang, if you were in a tavern and the press gang were about, what they used to do is used to get a little shilling and um, drop it in your pint. So when you're in your pint, ah, oh, king shilling, you've had the king shilling, which is why a lot of the tankards at that time had glass bottoms. So you could pick it up and say, oh, hang on, there's a shit, oh no, I'm not drinking that. There you go, King's Navy, it was something else. Uh, Golden Age of Sail. Hmm, could have been a bit of a challenge. Hmm, uh, not for me, no thanks. Cheers for watching, I'll see you on the next one.